Hey there, back in the shop again. This is David. We've got a trick on marking and measuring today. This one may be kind of a simple thing that you probably know, but there's a bunch of guys out there using tape measures that have never noticed this before. So let me show you something kind of cool about it, and then I'll give you a little extra trick. You look at this tape measure and you pull it out, and the tab on the end, which you use to hook over things and measure, it's moving. How much? Eh, maybe about a thick sixteenth. That's uh, because this is a cheap tape measure, right? Nope, not the truth. You can buy just about any tape measure in the world and you'll find out that that tab is gonna move. Does that mean it's broken? Nope, it's designed that way. And here's the idea. If you take your tape measure and let's say we're gonna make a line on here at five inches, okay? We take our tape measure and put it over the end and it's gonna measure five inches like it's supposed to. Now that works out fine and that means that that play that's in that tab at the end is allowing it to measure accurately. So why is that play there? Well, the thickness of that tab is a little over a sixteenth of an inch and if we're measuring to the inside of something, like we've got a cabinet wall here or something like that, the tab moves in and allows us to measure five inches on the inside. So it's designed to move to allow you to do inside and outside measurements accurately. So if you get your tape and you find out that this seems to be loose, it's supposed to be. What you want to keep an eye on is this can actually get worse. Now, if that happens and your tape gets older and you're not willing to uh, um, free yourself of that tape, let me show you about burning an inch when you're measuring. If you're not trusting that tab, when you take your measurement, hold the mark where you're starting from at one inch and then take your measurement. We're, eh, we're reading 12 and 15 sixteenths, okay? And that's fine. Now here's the trick. You need to remember when you take that measurement to burn an inch from it. So it's not really 12 and 5 15 sixteenths, it's 11 and 15 sixteenths. So that's a burning an inch and that helps you if your tape is getting old. So there's a couple of tape measure tricks that'll keep you measuring accurately. And still remember, measure twice and cut once. It's still a good adage. See you later.